Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Uh, today we're talking jeans, denim, whatever you choose to call it. Actually, we're, it's, it's denim because I have shorts and actual jeans. But I have found the best denim lately. I've been on kind of the hunt because although my size, like I'm back to my pre-pregnancy size, my body just looks different. I had a baby and so my hips are a lot wider and so I've kind of gone on the hunt to find really good jeans and I have found some really really good pairs. So everything I am talking about, wash information, size information, it's all going to be linked in the description bar below for y'all to shop so make sure you check it out down there and also click the subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media accounts. I have like a thousand because I share tons of fashion ideas and content there as well daily. Let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, I do want to talk about sizing really quick. So oftentimes when I'm doing try on hauls, you'll hear me say true to size or size up one. Um, I used to actually have my measurements in the description bar and I found that a lot of people were very rude about that. Like either they didn't understand it and thought it was like the dumbest thing or would like use my measurements to then go compare and tell me I was not wearing the right size. It just wasn't productive. But especially with jeans, denim, anything like that, I find that every single brand is so different. I cannot say this enough. Buy a really good like fabric tape measure or what are they? I think it's just called fabric tape measure and take your measurements and compare them to the size chart. Size charts are your BFF, especially Abercrombie. They have really good, accurate size charts. Even like their model information is really accurate. That's going to be the best way that you make sure you're getting the right size. And for me right now, in some jeans, I'm wearing my true pre-pregnancy size 28, which I'm back down to my pre-pregnancy size. Even if the jeans fit me slightly different than they did before I had my baby because my hips are just wider. Some things I'm still in a 29 it just varies so I say all this to tell you guys get a fabric tape measure and take your measurements down I know that can be a little frustrating I used to just keep mine in my phone I keep them in my phone now just to make sure if you're like buying something online and you don't want to get up and measure your waist you still have access to them but that's how you're going to get the most accurate size information for your body because two people who are five foot nine and weigh exactly what I weigh may look completely different in jeans and wear completely different sizes because they carry their weight differently for me I carry any any weight that I have in my hips and lower belly and that's just not the case for everybody so all that I know that was a lot to talk about now we can actually go ahead and get started but I do want to say tape measures are your friend but I will be sharing what size I have I just won't be sharing measurements because it's just it's so different for everyone all right so the first pair of shorts I actually can't link through like to know it so if you go to my like to know it they won't be there these are from Zara they are so good though that I can't I couldn't resist buying them. These are very high-waisted my belly button You can see like the very top of it right there So I have a very long torso. They are super high-waisted and I love the fit of these They make your booty look so good and they have a slight ripped detail in the front kind of over here is where you see the most Distressing but they do have um, slight distressing on the bottom and then also this right here real pockets all the way around Which I hate to still have to say but women, you know our clothing just we don't always get real pockets Pocket. So these fit really really nicely and they have buttons all the way down the front instead of a zipper Which I really like these are a 29 So I find that Zara kind of a hit or miss again It depends on the brand you probably hear me say it a hundred times in this video You guys you've got to check the size chart based on your measurements um, But my true size in Zara is a 29 So that's what these are and they don't have a lot of stretch like they're not uncomfortable But these are not going to be the shorts that you wear them throughout the day and they get you know a little bit looser up top these things are sturdy through every wash, through all day wear. Um, so not a lot of stretch in them. And I'm wearing a 29. And I am really, really tall, all legs. I tell you guys that. Um, so they are a little bit on the shorter side as far as like most of my jean shorts go. But I love the wash of these. And they're really comfortable. They didn't bleed at all in the washer or dryer. So 29, best best denim shorts. Okay, and then the only other pair of like new shorts that I've added to my closet are these Abercrombie shorts. Now, I like these. I can't believe I'm even saying this. Now that I'm a mom, I'm kind of loving longer shorts on me. These are honestly just like right on the line of comfort level. They're very similar to the Zara shorts, but I'm, I'm liking just shorts a little bit longer, and I don't know what it is about being a mom that made me feel like that, but it it's true, I do. So these are not near as high-waisted. You can see that's my belly button right there, and the button doesn't come up and actually 
fully touch my belly button, so these are a lot, like I guess, lower rise in comparison to the Zara ones. But these are a 29, and that is truthfully Abercrombie. I find that generally now I'm about a 29 in the Curve Love line. I can wear a 28. Um, it just depends, guys. Measurements. Get your measurements. But these, as far as length goes, are definitely on the shorter side. But they're really comfortable and do have actually a good amount of stretch to these. Abercrombie jeans do not stretch throughout the day, though. So you are good to wear these and they will have stretch, but it's not gonna like be falling off of you and you're gonna have to like pull them up um, by the end of the day. Real pockets all the way around and then just slight distress detail all the way around as well. But the wash is very similar to Zara. Um, these are super comfortable, but if you do just like a little bit more stretch in your denim, this is definitely gonna be the route you want to go because Zara is like, that is that is it. It is, it is snuck. When I tell y'all I've never been so excited to share a piece of denim with you guys, even a piece of clothing, I mean it. These jeans are from Walmart and they are like $18 retail. You can usually get them for like 15 bucks. The only thing about these, you can see the size there. There is a good few inches above my ankle. I wish they were a little bit longer and these are the regular length. They didn't have a long length. They only had short and regular and I just got the regular, but so comfortable. There is a good amount of stretch to these, but again, they're not gonna like stretch out throughout the day. They have a zipper all the way up the front, not buttons, and all the pockets are real, but the front ones are pretty shallow. Um, the back doesn't do much for my booty, but I don't have a big booty, so this is kind of what I'm working with. They fit really nicely. The one thing about the Sofia Vergara jeans is the size chart was a little bit crazy. So it told me that my waist, I needed to wear a four, and then with my hips, I needed to be in an eight. So I said, let's just kind of split the difference and go with a six, because that's what I was pre-pregnancy, and these are a six, and they fit perfect. So a little confusing. I do have some Sofia Vergara jeans I'm about to show you guys in an eight, and they fit me okay, but I wish I would have got a six in them because they are a lot looser right here. So this just fits perfect all over. The wash is really nice. I just wish they were a tiny bit longer, but they are so comfortable and they feel like these do not feel like $15 jeans. So these are like literally the whole reason I made today's video. And as far as how high up they go, you can see they don't touch my belly button. So fairly high waisted, but not, you know, overwhelming. All right, next pair of Sofia Vergara jeans. These actually remind me a lot of a pair of Abercrombie jeans I have because of the fray at the bottom and the way that they're cut up. Um, I got these in the regular length as well and I love them. They're of course a light wash, very, very high-waisted. My belly button is completely covered with these. It does have relatively deep front pockets, at least compared to the other Sofia Vergara jeans. Not much it does for me in the booty though, but <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but really comfortable and they do have some distressing on this leg. The biggest thing is I got these in an eight and I feel like there's just a little bit like too much room right here. So I do wish I would have caught these in a six, but they fits fine. This was again, one of those. I went with this one based off of what the hip measurements were with the size chart. And I just went with my gut and I was like, I feel like a six is going to be good. So if you don't match up proportionally, don't worry. I would just say split the difference, but that is something that's new to me because I've always hit size charts like right all the way across. Like if it says I wear a four, I wore a four with my hip measurements and my waist. And since having a baby, there's a five inch difference between my waist and my hips. So not the same anymore, but very comfortable, light wash. Again, like 18 bucks, I think, when they're like full price and they usually run about $15. So if you can get these, oh, so do. They are so good. Okay, my tall followers, these jeans are for you. They are from Zara and I cannot believe I'm saying this. Do you guys see the length at the bottom? These are three and one quarter inch heels, five foot nine, and they barely come off the ground. So while if you are shorter, these may not work for you or you have to wear like super high heels, I do need to get that one fray though. That is gonna be something I trip on for sure. Um, these are just so great for taller girls and I feel like so often we are forgotten about, like even with the Sofia Vergara jeans, they only have regular and short and like people don't always make tall. So if you are taller, these are absolutely amazing. They are, um, I am a true size 29 across the board in Zara. Everything that I've purchased from Zara, 29 is what fits perfect. There is a little bit of stretch to this one, but just like the short, they are not, there's not a ton of wiggle room. So you definitely need to make sure you get your true size because they're not going to be like super stretchy and have a ton of give to them. They have really deep pockets in these. And then the front of these is also a zipper, not buttons, pockets in the back, very comfortable. And then there is just ripped um, detail 
at the knees. But the biggest point to this is tall girls, you can still wear heels with these and they don't like come up and look completely crazy. I love these. These are actually what I'm wearing on date night this weekend because they are just so good. The can't believe I've not even shared this. They have the slit on the inside. It comes up about to my ankle, but these are just all the rage right now. And I totally get why. Okay. <laughs> and then these jeans, I would not wear with these heels in like this top, but if you look at the ad picture online, it shows them with these heels and I think it's so fabulous. So I wanted to show them to you with the heels in like on a person and not just like a still photo. So these are also a Goldie, significantly looser in the waist though. And these are a 28. So while they do still fit me very nicely, I do not wish I would have sized down at all. These have major distressing in the knees and then a little bit on the back there, but these are like the a Goldie jeans that you see everywhere, like the popular that one picture you see um, and they're really really comfortable the length is amazing I'll show them to you guys in one second roll down like their true straight leg style you can also see them here like straight on that's how they fit but comfortable so good I hate myself for buying these because I thought I won't like them I'll return them and I love them they are so good and as far as high-waisted goes they hit right below my belly buttons but just know the biggest difference between these jeans and the other ones fit me very well but these are definitely a looser fit um, in the waist and then I did just want to show you the jeans unrolled I feel like they're a lot more flattering rolled up when you can see my ankles but five foot nine and that is right where they hit is right at my ankles so straight leg all the way down for sure very very nice link to these okay friends and that is it for today's video arguably the best denim ever um, but definitely all the new denim in my closet because I just had to kind of get some new ones I need to go through my old jeans and donate the ones that I can't wear don't like or don't fit me anymore um, so these are gonna be the ones seeing me wear repeat now and into fall I love them so much so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget go below click that subscribe button if you're new here love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video